Welcome back to Live at 4. I'm Zach Stone. The Macomb High Bombers have been on a skid in recent weeks. A thumping last week at QND leaves the Bombers with a couple of questions heading on the road. The Bombers will have their hands full in this one. Nearly four hours of bus ride for the Richmond Burton Rockets, who actually play in my high school conference. When they arrive tomorrow in Macomb, the Bombers better be ready to go because they've got multiple backs to worry about. A 1-2 offensive punch behind fullback Mike Kaufman and running back Jimmy Horner. The Bombers playing for pride in this one as they've already been bumped out of playoff contention this season. Again, Richmond Burton, the member of that Kishwaukee Valley Conference that I grew up in, just like my modern Woodstock High. They head on the road tomorrow night. Kickoff for that one is set for 7 p.m. at Bombers Stadium. And the Sparklones of Bushnell West Prairie are still in an end-of-season dogfight for a playoff spot. At 3-4 and four on the season, David Rodis and his team will need to lock it up at home when they host Astoria VIT. On the outside, looking in at the IHSA playoffs, the Sparklones have a lot to play for. For senior quarterback Charlie Hensley, tomorrow will let us know whether these next weeks against Lewiston will be for one of those playoff spots. David Rodison will hope that his team can have a similar result as Illini West, who stomped the Rebels last week 70-6. to the boys of fall are finally going to get some fall weather. A chilly one at home for the Sparklones tomorrow night. Kickoff to keep BWP's season alive is tomorrow night at 7 p.m. And after a weather got in the way last Friday night, News 3 Game of the Week will be on the road again tomorrow night. No Connor Fredlin for me tomorrow night, but go ahead and join me with Brendan Reedy, host of the WIU Coaches Show, and he'll be at the desk. The 7-0 Farmington Farmers on the road to take on the A-Town Tornadoes. Join us on Facebook for that pregame.